Hi friends, a light string A, B, C, D, E. So we have got a string A, B, C, D, E whose extremity A is fixed, A point of the string is fixed and has weight W1 and W2 attached to it at point B and C. So at point B we have got load W1 attached and at point C we have got load W2 attached as you can see here. It passes round a small smooth peg at D. So there is a small peg over here at point D and the string is passing over that peg carrying a weight of 300 Newton at the free end E as shown in the figure. So at free end E there is a weight of 300 Newton suspended to the string. So there is a 300 Newton weight attached to the end of the string at point E. If in the equilibrium position BC is horizontal and AB and CD makes 150 degrees and 120 degrees with BC. So, in an equilibrium condition, your BC is going to be horizontal as it is mentioned in the question and AB and CD are making 150 degrees and 120 degrees with BC. Okay? Then we have to find tensions in the portion AB, BC and CD of the string. We have to find all the tensions in the portion AB, BC and CD. And second question is that we have to find magnitude of W1 and W2. So load W1 and load W2 we have to find. Now in this whole problem if you see only this particular load which is 300 Newton is given to us. Since this load is 300 Newton we can find out the load in this particular portion CD. We are going to assume the frictionless peg. So since there is no friction the entire string is going to have same tension from E to D as well as G to C. Okay. So entire string is going to have same tension throughout. So that is one part is important over here and later on we will do, we will do the equilibrium condition of point C and point B separately. We will draw free body diagram of point C and then we will draw we will find out the tension in the portion BC also right. So first of all let us first find out the tension in the portion CD. We are going to assume the peg which we have used at point D we are going to assume it to be frictionless. So assuming peg to be frictionless so therefore, the string DE and DC will have same tension throughout. There is no change of tension. So therefore, the tension in the string DE and the next portion is DC will be same. There is no friction between the string and the peg. So entire tension will be transferred uniformly. The tension in the string DE and DC will be same. So as you can see that tension in the portion DE is going to be 300 Newton because 300 load is acting on it. So here also we will we'll get same tension. So here we will have tension as 300 Newton friends. Same tension would be coming here also okay, like that. Therefore tension in the portion CD will be same as tension in the portion DE and that is same as the load because 300 Newton is connected to the portion DE. So it is going to be 300 Newton that is straightforward. So this is first thing we have to keep in mind. Now after that I will take point C and I will draw free body diagram of point C considering free body diagram of point C. Now if you see here this angle is going to be 120 degree as it is mentioned in the figure itself. It is going to be 120 degrees and this portion is tension in the CD. So this is going to be T tension in the CD. This is going to be tension in the BC and this one is W2. Now if I draw a horizontal line like this. Since this is 120, this angle is going to be 60 degrees. This angle is straight forward 90 degrees friends and this one angle is also 90 degree you can see. So we are able to locate all the angles. So it means this angle we have got 90 plus 60 that is 150. This angle we have got 120 and this angle we got 90. So all three angles we are having with us in this particular case. And the tension in the string CD is already we have calculated and that tension is 300 newtons as you can see from here. Now so this particular point which is point C, so this point is point C friends. So as you can see this is point C. So I can easily apply Lamy's theorem in this particular situation and I can find out the, val and the value of tension in the portion BC and the value of W2. So let us apply the Lamy's theorem. So therefore by Lamy's theorem so as we know that tension in the BC that is tension in the string BC divided by angle opposite to this particular force and this angle is going to be 150 degrees. So sin 150 degree equal to tension in the CD and opposite to that is 90 degrees. So sin 90 
and that is equal to we will take w2 and the angle opposite to w2 is 120 degrees so w2 divide by sin 120 degrees as it is very much clear from here so if you use this term and this term you can find out tension in the bc friends so we can find out tension in the portion bc as not tension in the portion cd is 300 newton so it is 300 divided by sin 90 is 1 into sin 150 so if you simplify this you will get the value of tension in the portion bc as 150 newtons so if you similarly if you consider this this term and this term you can find out the value of w2 so from here you can get w2 will be what again tension in the cd divided by sin 90 So sine 90 is 1, so it is tension in the CD that is 300 straight forward multiplied by sine 120. This value will turn out to be 259.80 newton. So we have got the tension in the portion BC as well as load W2. Now we have to find the tension in the portion AB and the load W1. So for that we'll take point B and we'll draw a free body diagram of point B. So let's draw a free body diagram of point B. So here. This angle is given as 150 degree. So this is tension in the portion BC, tension in the portion BC, and this is tension in the portion AB, TAB, and this is weight W1. This is 150 degree. So if I draw a horizontal line over here, this angle is going to be 30 degree, and the remaining this whole angle, uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees. And this angle is again 90 degree. As it is very much clear from the geometry itself. Okay. As you can see here. we have already calculated the tension in the portion bc that is 150 newtons this is friends 150 newtons which we have already calculated okay so now with the help of this tension in the bc we can calculate the tension in the ab and weight w so again i am going to apply lamis theorem so we can write down tension in the portion ab that is tab divided by angle opposite to this is going to be sin 90 and that is equal to W two, so the angle opposite W two is going to be one fifty degrees, so sine one fifty, and that is equal to the tension in the portion BC that is one fifty newtons straight forward. Angle opposite to this particular force is going to be ninety plus thirty that is one twenty, so sine one twenty. So if you simplify this particular, now uh, you can take this term and this last term, and you can find out tension in the AB. So you'll get from here, tension in the AB is going to be. 150 divided by sine 120. As you can see from here, sine 90 is 1, so that is going to be 1 only. So 150 divided by sine 120 is going to be 173.20 newton. So this is going to be 173. So we got tension in the portion ABS 173.20 newtons. Similarly, if you take this term and this term together, you can find the value of W1, that is the load which is suspended at point B. So we can find out from here W1 equals it will be 150 by sine 120 into sine 150. This the denominator part will go on that side. So it is going to be sine 150. That is 150. So from here you will get the value of W1 as 86.60 newtons.